2014 back bumper on that truck. So put it back to road and work and whatever else instead of being specific and you can't drive it anywhere because it's got 2,500 pounds of crap on the back of it. This one's going to be just a run around. I don't go more than about, oh, 30 miles probably is about 30 to 50 miles is about the range that I, that I work in. I do 99% agricultural work. So pivots, feedlots, custom feed yards, elevators, grain bins, grain dryers, feed mills. I don't really try to mess with people's houses as much as possible just because I don't want to mess with those people. I want to work with the farmer and rancher who wants me there and wants to pay me to fix it and get him going again. So it might end up with a four inch spring lift in the front and airbags in the back. I have the airbags, but I haven't decided if I'm going to put a spring lift on it yet or not. So I did pull the carburetor, pulled four different style gaskets out from under it and another one that had a little vacuum tube off of it i've never seen one of them before ever here i'll show you what it looks like actually i just did that this morning this gasket right here i've never seen one of these before it's got a little hole in the back of it right there never seen that that can't suck good but I can tell you that this gasket sucks, period. So it had all these gaskets on it. And not they're not even the same. They're just random crap that they stuck on this truck. I don't know, to get it running or because the throttle bracket rubbed on the intake manifold and it needed more space. I don't know, but it had all this crap on it. So it had a vacuum leak that I just couldn't seal. So I pulled that off and got a, it's a heat shield is what it's designed for to dissipate the heat between the intake manifold and the carburetor. But it was just enough lift that I had more stud to bolt the carburetor to and um, keep the bracket, the throttle bracket from hitting the intake manifold. And it seemed to do a lot of good. I haven't driven it yet, so I don't know if it, solved all the all the uh idling down issues but uh it's i know it started better and it idled better right after it started and it was cold it was probably i don't know 30 some degrees this morning when i was working on this and hit the key and it fired right up like it's been running all day so that's uh hopefully going to be positive for this truck because I, I really like this truck. I think it's going to be a, a great run around work truck. The best part is it's paid for. That's paid for. I only got one other that I need to sell. And keep the overhead low. So we're going to get into this truck. And see how many of these clamps are loose. And get some quick... Apparently maintenance done to it that shouldn't have been shouldn't have needed done to begin with because it just came out of $1,100 shop bill. So we'll see. All right.